This video has been designed as a quick start guide to get you up and running on Trendspec as quickly as possible. What we're looking at here is called the dashboard. This is what you'll see when you first log into the platform. Clicking on inspect will take us to the 3D view where we can inspect our assets. What we're seeing here is called the setup page. The setup page is something that you'll only see the first time you view an asset. Essentially what we're doing is preloading um, much of the data that you need once on the inspection page to ensure that we can provide you with a performant and scalable experience. Once that setup page is complete, click and continue to head over to the inspect page. So we now see a Transpect Precision Reality Twin in front of us. Um, let's firstly chat about navigation. So as I mentioned earlier, Transpec has been designed to be extremely easy to use. So this runs in your web browser. You don't need to download any software. Uh, and it's mm. as simple as scrolling to zoom in on the asset. And you'll notice that as I get closer, more and more detail will load. Left clicking and dragging to orbit around the point that you click. And shift clicking and dragging to pan side to side. Now just to give you a bit of context as to how we got to the point of having this precision reality twin, um, one of our capture partners has been out to site, captured around 3000 high resolution images for a structure of this size. Those images have been uploaded for processing uh, through the Transpec processing pipeline. Uh, and out the other side comes the Transpec precision reality twin, which is what we're looking at in front of us those original images can actually still be navigated. So we can right click on a point of interest, say this ca these calcium deposits here, and click on photo browser. This will bring up all of the images that actually contain this point. From here, our users are typically thinking about inspection use cases. Uh, and before we can do that, we need to actually generate insight on our precision reality twin. So to do that, it's as simple as right clicking on the model clicking start drawing. This places a pin on the model and we can finish drawing here if we just want to create a pin. Optionally, we can um, right click again to turn that into a line and we can even continue right clicking um, to, to bring that back into a polygon. We can style this accordingly. So I might turn off the fill. I'm going to turn off the pins and I'm going to make this one green. Once we're happy with that drawing, clicking on finish. And this brings up the, the summary um, pane. So this gives you the basic measurement information around what you've drawn. If you just wanted to take a quick measurement that you don't want to persist and save in future sessions, you can finish here and just close this by clicking on the X or hitting escape. Um, so we can see here the area is 0.043 meters squared and the perimeter is 1.6 meters. Now you can optionally select a template here, but in this case, I'm just going to click on create. So this drawing is now saved to the model and this annotation pane contains all of the data associated with this drawing. So the overview tab, actually before we get onto the overview tab, I'll give this annotation a name. Let's say calcium deposits. We'll now flick through each tab just to give you a feel for um, the sort of data that you can store within the annotations pane. So the overview tab contains basic measurement information uh, it also contains the deep link for the annotation ID. So clicking on this will copy the unique URL for this annotation. You can send that to any of your colleagues that have a Transpec account with access to this asset and they'll be flown directly to this view with the annotation pane open, ready for them to work within the platform. You can also update the camera pose associated to the annotation. So every annotation has a default position associated to it. So, you know, maybe we want to get in closer. And once we're happy with that view, we can click update. And this annotation net has now has this position saved within it. So next time a user accesses this deep link, they'll be taken straight to this view. The drawings tab is where we can customize the drawing. So, you know, if we wanted to change it to red, we could do that here. If we wanted to turn the icons back on, we could also do that. The data tab is where Transpec's templating system comes into play. 
So back on the dashboard, you can access the template manager, which is where you can create custom templates. Once those templates have been created, it's as simple as clicking on a sign. We can choose one of our demo templates and click apply. So that template has now populated this annotation with all of the data from the template. So we now have our metrics here, which we can just flick through and um, populate accordingly. Now you can create as many templates as you need and each template can have as many custom fields within it. Uh, so this gives you a lot of flexibility around how you use Strandspec, um, ensuring that you are able to conform to your reporting requirements. The images tab is similar to the right click functionality that we looked at earlier. So this will collate every single drone image uh, that actually contains the defect or the area of interest. The files tab allows you to upload and catalog data directly on the asset itself. Um, so there's many different use cases here, but as an example, say you've sent a subcontractor out to site, they've repaired the defect uh, or installed a piece of equipment, they can upload proof of those works within the files tab. And you can also catalog the data within the files tab using the, the foldering system. So clicking add to create a new folder. And you know, we could give this one contractor A uh, and contractor A could place all their files within that. And you can even nest these folders. So um, you know, we could create a new folder and this is where they're gonna put the images and we could create a, another new folder. And this is going to be where they put the reports. Um, and then it's as simple as right clicking, uploading files, or you can even upload an entire folder of existing data if required. Trendspec is a collaborative platform. So the discussions is where you can actually send messages to other stakeholders just by typing and clicking send. And history just outlines um, all changes made to an annotation card over time. So it lays it out in an easy to, to interpret way, um, enabling you to understand who changed what, when they changed it, uh, so that you can keep track of changes to your annotations. So before we look at reporting in Transpec over on the reporting page, I just wanted to quickly show you the um, the trend monitoring tools within Trendspec. So once an asset has been captured multiple times, you'll have access to the synced viewer up in the right hand menu here. Clicking on this will take us to a view where we are seeing two versions of the asset. So on the right, we have the asset from 2019 and on the left, the asset from 2021. We can change this around if we want to make it a bit more logical left to right. And these 3D models have been synced to one another so that they are perfectly aligned. What this allows us to do is immediately see how the asset has changed. So as an example, we can see that this spool um, has not only been repaired, they've also installed these steel bands, um, presumably for reinforcement. This old corroded pipe work has been completely replaced. Um, and we can go have a look at <clears throat> Go have a look at our annotation from earlier to see if there's any change there. It doesn't look like there's any change there. So they're the sort of observations that you can make within Trendspec uh, using the trend tools. We'll now head over to the reporting page, so up in the main menu bar here. And the reporting page is essentially a spreadsheet style view of all of your annotation data. You can filter and query this data using the search condition builder. So as an example, maybe we want to uh, only see annotations where the severity has been set to critical. Now severity is a field within a template. So you can have, um, as you can filter by uh, whatever metrics you've set up within your templates. So we can see here that there's an exposed reinforcement um, annotation, which has had a severity set to, ha has had its severity set to critical. Um, and we can then generate reports both in Excel and PDF format just by clicking these buttons. It's important to note that even the more traditional reports like PDF uh, utilize deep links to bring the user back within the platform. So it's as simple as clicking on the line item here or the button within the PDF report or the link within the Excel report 
and that will take you back to the asset, fly directly to the defect with the annotation open, ready for you to continue collaborating within the platform. That's a very quick look uh, at the Trendspec system and how you can use it for the reporting process. Uh, if you do have any questions, please contact our support team. The best way to do that is via the chat box in the bottom right hand corner here.